From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a huge afternoon as new housing data released on the third day of consecutive data. Was it good? I'll have the latest details on the sales of pre-existing homes and they fell dramatically fell 5.4% in the latest data released today. It's the third day of data, and we'll go over why on Monday the home builders had bad numbers. Housing starts on Tuesday, and today continues to erode across the board. Then we'll be turning to the inflationary front that you need to know, and that inflationary front is important because you need to get a forced to check in every U.S. state. This money is there, about $100,000 across the land. You qualify, done by executive action from Joseph Biden back in the month of March, and you qualify. And viewers have been cleaning up. Yes, about $100,000. We'll go over all that incredible money in this recording. Plus, we'll be looking at why this inflationary data tracking higher is good for you. Because as that data continues to track higher, your benefits are going to track higher as well. We'll go over how that works in today's recording as your numbers continue to land across the land. We'll be looking at the inflationary numbers today and the recessionary numbers as well. A lot of data that's coming in today and at issue is the latest detail on the housing data falters. The latest details on the inflationary numbers falter. And then what happens thereafter is, of course, the incoming recession. We're going to go over all those numbers in today's recording, but this is why you can't wait to get a force to most check. We're going to go over all those incredible checks in today's recording. What do you do? You become a member. Go right on this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino, VIP. You get those incredible checks in every U.S. state. You qualify. Absolutely. We got a lot of money in today's recording. The incredible force to most checks in every U.S.A. $100,000. The raising up of your benefits about five thousand dollars, and then the build back better act potentially splitting into two bills with Joe Manchin wanting to call vote this month in just the next few days. Oh my goodness, that could potentially be another eighty thousand dollars on top of that. We'll go the latest inflationary data and the latest recessionary data released minutes ago, and of course the housing data from today. And why your benefits are going to go up so much? Become a member and get ready for today's afternoon's broadcast. It starts right now. And good afternoon. We start today with the housing data released minutes ago. And these housing numbers are the third consecutive days of numbers. And what do you need to know? They're not particularly good. It started on Monday. It continued on Tuesday. And it now goes into the latest details today as well. Good afternoon. Hope you're having a beautiful day. This is Afternoons LA, America's most loved show at the midday. And this is LA. America's number three most watched financial news channel expanding to two more channels and chasing for the number two position in America. Launching in less than 14 days is LA2 and LA3. Meantime, the website LA Late relaunched last night, delivering you your latest financial news as well. Let's get into the breaking news right now. The headline story today is the recession and its impact on housing. Housing data came in today with another number, and this is not particularly good. The latest number today on the housing starts is the consecutive number that we've seen on this channel in recent days. And the data continues to falter across the board. What is today's number? Today's number is the home sales for the month of June, and they fell 5.4% from the month of May. And this is not good. This is the slowest pace of sales since 2020. And this is the most significant drop since 2019, the lowest pace since reported in January 2019. The analysis, let's go over it. Lawrence Yu, chief economist for Realtor, says it's clearly due to the plunging affordability. We've never seen mortgage rates shoot up faster than this. The number of homes for sale in the month of June was 1.26 million. That's an increase of 2.4%. So the inventory 
inventory is building up because no one's buying necessarily in the rate they were before. This is for compared to the that's an increase of three percent of inventory compared to the month of June last year, and this is the first year over year gain in nearly three years. Activity is stronger in certain segments. We'll be going over those in detail in in, in detail on evenings LA tonight. It's a head scratcher number. We'll give it lower sales. People are trying to lock in their interest rate, but they can't, says Yoon, further. The second data story today is, of course, the housing mortgage numbers. Mortgage demand dropped to a 22-year low in as interest rates continue to track higher in the latest details released today. Applications for mortgages to purchase a new home fell 7% for the week and 19% lower than the week prior in 2021. Joel Kahn, chief economist at the NBA, said purchase activity declined for the conventional and governmental loans as the weakening economic outlook continues. Higher inflation, persistent changes, and lower demand. This, my friends, is why you got to get a forced almost check. The housing data today is the continuing proliferation of this inflation recession, which we're going to go over more in just a second. That is why you have to get a forced stimulus check. These incredible forced stimulus checks landed by executive action back in the month of March, and they're huge. They're about one hundred thousand dollars. We're going to go over all these incredible checks in just a second. You qualify, passed by executive action from Joseph Biden. These incredible checks, views have been getting since. March, and I have a brand new success story in the second half today. You qualify if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, children without children, every U.S. state. It's federal stimulus. And how do you get it? Very simple. You go under this video, become a member, and you stay the second half as we go over each of these incredible checks one at a time. We're going to go over all these incredible checks later in this recording. Two data points we're watching today and every day on this channel are inflation and recession. And the housing data today is a continuing indication that things aren't going well. With the mortgage demand dropping dramatically and then the housing numbers today not good as well, where is this in a week in which housing data is very important. This week is the housing week with three data points released this week. There's actually actually one more next week. And what have we seen so far in this housing data in just three days? Let's go over everything you need to know. First, the National Association of Home Builders Wells Fargo Market Index on Monday posted the consumer the builder sentiment among those constructing new homes. And the number dropped 12 points to 55. It's the largest drop in a single month in 37 years. The last time we saw a drop this significant was during the pandemic when it dropped 42 points to 30 at the start of the pandemic. That was day one. The second day's data came in yesterday on June 19th when the number of housing starts or new homes fell dramatically, fell 2%, and this was when Wall Street was looking for an increase of 1.4% in the same month. So Wall Street was looking for a rise, and it posted a drop. And today's data, of course, is the third consecutive day's day of bad data. With June home sales, these are previously sold homes, dropping 5.4%. It's the most significant drop since 2019. So this is beating all the pandemic numbers. It's beating the pre-pandemic numbers. It's not good. That's the lead story today. Now, what are we also seeing today? We're seeing a lot of inflation data and a lot of other recession data. Let's go over everything you need to know starting right now. On the recessionary front, a lot to go over. And that data on the recessionary front is really, really shocking. First, the 10-year and 2-year bond remain inverted. Why is that important? Because that inversion indicates a recession. It continues today for another day. And why is the inversion curve still there if bond yields are down today? This is fascinating. The reason why is because the recession is still impacting bond yields on both the short and long term. So the 2 and the 10-year note remain inverted, and that inversion curve means we're in a recession. That's despite both notes dropping today. 
earnings recession. We got some new data today as well. We're going to see recession in the earnings data as much as also in the jobs and also the bond yield. So what do we see on that earnings from today? We saw Netflix jump 6.1% after reported losses, but less than Wall Street expected. So that was a relative beat, even though it shows a declining bottom line. But not the case when you go over to Bed Bath & Beyond. They did not report earnings today. Their earnings are coming on August 4, 17th, but they gave guidance today, and the guidance was not good. Bed Bath & Beyond gave guidance for their earnings coming on August, and they said it's going to be trouble. For the, They gave guidance that they believe will be lower on the earnings and the sales size than initially expected. Our data indicates the customers, particularly low-income customers, have been more cost-conscious and are limiting purchases. There you go. They say people are buying less. So they are now expecting sales to be down 7% for the quarter ending second part of this year. And the full guidance is now down additionally as well. What else do we see on the recessionary front today? Well, on the recessionary front, we see guidance coming from Wells Fargo and American and Bank America. Both banks gave guidance today, and what do they say? They gave the following guidance. Bank America and Wells Fargo both saying we're going to have a recession, different analysis across the board. Now, remember me, <laughs> this guy. Back in spring of this year, I was the only financial analyst on air, financial broadcaster, I should say, that reported that I believe that we're going to have a recession. I reported first before anyone else. They dare not even say it in February this year. Banks weren't even saying it until April when Deutsche Bank was the first bank to announce a recession. And all of us, both, bank Amer both Deutsche Bank and myself, months earlier, were saying January 2023 is when the recession is coming. Well, the recession's already rocked. The recession's already upon us. Why? Because we posted two negative quarters of GDP growth, as reported by the Atlanta Fed GDP now two weeks ago, the official announcement coming from Department of Labor on July 21. Two negative quarters of GDP growth is what qualifies as a recession. But the impact of the recession won't be felt on you right now. Inherently, it will be felt later on. The data today from Wells Fargo and Bank of America give us guidance on when you would feel that recession. And folks, not to pat myself on the back, <laughs> but here we go again. I told you so. I've been telling you for several months that we're going to recession next year and that the financial cliff into September. Guess look what they reported today. The major hurt is going to be felt in September. Told you, this is why you watch LA, the number three most watched financial news channel, where you learn when this economy is, where it's going, and how to get the money. I always get the stuff right. And that's why this channel is expanding to three new channels, to three more, to three total channels, two new channels joining LA2 and LA3. Go on to this video and subscribe. Bank America is now indicating that there will be a mild recession for the remainder of 2022. But let's jump over the data coming in from Wells Fargo and its chief economist. And his comments minutes ago, his its chief economist said that it's now expecting uh, a changed outlook and they're expecting a mild recession in the first quarter of 2023. That's exactly what I said. But it says that September is going to be much more significant. And uh, this is what they said. Consumers, co consumers have held the line pretty well in terms of spending, but they brought brought down their savings rate, and they've increased the credit card left debt, those things aren't going to be sustainable in the long run. It's now reporting that September is going to manifest itself as outright declines in consumer spending as people now start to dip into the savings. So, and we talked about this a few weeks ago, or maybe it was last week, when we talked about people likely to spend record numbers at summer concerts. And going into debt, says a new report. I said, this is bad news. I said, it's really bad news. And guess what? What Wells Fargo is saying? That's what they're going to be doing. People are going to be spending more and going more into debt, and they won't be making more money. This is what you don't do. This is why you need to get a stimulus check. Now, amidst all this rising inflation, it's great news for you and your benefits. Why? Because as inflation contracts higher, May's read on the CPI at 8.6%, and then in June, surging to a 9.1%. Why is this great news for you on your benefits? Because guess what? Your benefits are going to go up a lot. How much? We're going to go over all that equation starting right now. 
what's going on. As inflation tracks higher, then what goes on is your benefits go up. How much? They'll likely go up about $5,000. This is you if you're on SSI, SSDI, railroad benefits, and veterans benefits. Why? Because as inflation tracks higher, so do your benefits as well. And that analysis we're going to go over right now. How it works and how much and what you should see. It's the latest details on that inflation. We're looking at basically a series of months. And those months at issue track from the spike in the month of May. Based upon the current rate of inflation, your benefits are likely to go up 5%, but we need to see three months of data. We need to see July, August, and September. That will impact you. Let's go over the calculations starting right now. Inflation is the second story on this channel. And then inflation first manifests itself massive numbers earlier this year, and they haven't come down. In spring of last year, I said that inflation was going to track at 8% and not be temporary. I was the only broadcaster saying this, as the Federal Reserve has said, is going to be 2 to 3% temporary in December of last year. Got it really wrong. Then the Federal Reserve started to raise rates and say it was going to bring down inflation. Hasn't worked. I said it was not, was not going to work because inflation is caused by gasoline and supply chain disruption. Well, what happened? Inflation tracked higher in the month of May, shocking Wall Street at 8.6%. I said, there you go. I said, I don't think it's going down. And guess what happened? The July, the June number was released on Wednesday, last Wednesday, the Consumer Price Index number, and it showed the inflation surged higher from 8.6% to 9.1%. You saw the graphic just seconds ago. This is big news for you. Why? Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, C-O-L-I, delivered in December, but it's dependent upon three numbers earlier in the year. They are the CPI-W in July August to September. The CPI-W is a subsection of the CPI, and that CPI-W is, of course, dependent upon inflation. We already saw the CPI for the month of June released earlier last week. And as that number tracks higher, then what do you need to know? If the number continues to track higher, then what also happens is your benefits go higher. So, the 8.6 read in May was followed up with 9.1% in June. If the CPI continues to track higher for July, which we're in right now, August and September, your benefits are going up a lot. Let's go over the analysis. Are everyone's benefits going up the same percentage? Yes. Is this all you? Yes. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security Wearable Benefits, is it automatic? Yes. Do you have to do anything? No. And does everyone get $5,000? No. It depends on how much you currently get. But you're all going to get a raise, the same incredible lift. This is something to dance about. This is something to celebrate about. This is everything you wanted. This is everything we argued for. This is everything we advocated for. This is everything the Purple Power Push Push for. What's going on? Your benefits are going to get the biggest lift of your lifetime because inflation has never been seen this high of a lifetime and it's going to lock it in right when it's at the highest point this is exactly what you wanted you wanted your benefits to be locked in when inflation is at its highest and here you go inflation has not peaked and as inflation has not peaked then guess what your benefits are going up a lot now let's go over some more of that inflationary numbers released minutes ago and boy it's a max it's a it's a mixture of both inflation and also recession. On the inflationary front, we had the CPI on Wednesday, the PPI on Thursday, and the retail sales on Friday. PPI surged to its second highest level reported ever. I'll have more about that tonight on Evening's LA. And then the retail sales surged higher than the month of May. On the cryptocurrency side, Crypto is trading a little bit higher today on the belief that the Federal Reserve may ease back or may not be as aggressive as initially thought. That's good on inflation because inflation may track higher. This is not necessarily the end of the crypto bear market, but the rally relief for Bitcoin is long overdue as Bitcoin surged up a little bit to $24,000 today. Here's what you also need to know on the inflationary front as well. There's new indications that inflation may be may potentially ease because there's new supply chain improvement. A series of new reports last week featured on this channel said that there may be some improvement in supply chain disruption. Remember, inflation is caused by two factors: supply chain disruption, number one, and also gasoline. On the supply chain disruption, we saw last week a series of analysts saying there's improvement on that front. 
Today we have another breaking news story, Volvo. Volvo, one of the, one of the largest auto manufacturers in the globe, says the worst part of supply chain disruption for chips and cars appears to have passed. It says that semiconductor inventory is now back at full capacity, at least for them. This is a shocker. That comment comes from CEO of Volvo, Jim Rowan, minutes ago. We have got in the first quarter and were affected by one specific semiconductor, which was hampered by production across most of our range. But we forecast by and large, and we would be through that by the end of the second quarter. That's what we've seen. We are through those semiconductor issues. Wow. Wow. So they're basically saying for for Volvo, which is purely an electric company right now, if you don't know, they're saying the supply chain disruption for auto is done. They say it's gone. They say it was done at the end of second quarter. Let's jump over to oil. The oil situation is fascinating. In fact, before we get to oil, let me go over to something else that's really important. <laughs> Membership. Uh, pull out those LA worksheets because those LA worksheets we have a lot to take notes on today. My goodness. Those LA worksheets are free for members. They are in the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And those LA worksheets are at the third line. It's a PDF you can print from your cell phone or your computer. And if you don't have a printer, then you can take notes on a separate piece of paper. That incredible PDF, the first page, has the economy. What do we learn today? Inflation. Inflation is not ease, and we do not see any indication of ease whatsoever. And if the inflation tracks as where it is or higher, your benefits are going up another $5,000. Recession. We learned a lot about the recession today with that guidance uh, from those two banks indicating one on one bank that the financial cliff is potentially September and two that both saying recession is coming in next year, one saying it may be mild. Number three, we also had the earnings recession with Bed Bath & Beyond posting that massive trouble for the first part of this year. But Netflix, potentially not so much. Labor, we'll see the Department of Labor's numbers released tomorrow, those new unemployment claims. And the Federal Reserve, we're not tracking too much on the Federal Reserve today. The second page of the worksheets are so important. These incredible worksheets show you how to keep track of your stimulus checks. Check A, B, and C. We're going to go over all these incredible checks. There's a lot of checks, upwards of 20 checks I'm going to get you in the second half of this video. There's a lot of checks to keep track of, a lot of places you're calling. And the date you apply, the periods of payments, the amount, the notes. I'm going to take a break right here to because it belongs right here. A wonderful message sent to me on Facebook, private message overnight, is heartwarming. And this fits beautifully with this table. This viewer is a member. She keeps notes of where she applies for things. She applied for check B in Florida. She's out of Florida in the month of March. And she me, the month of May. <laughs> it was actually much later in the month of May. And she had taken notes that she applied, but she didn't mentally remember she applied. Yesterday, she got the message. She got approved. She got approved for check B, but she got a lot more than I ever report check B is for. She got check B for 18 months of payments for mortgage. Her mortgage for a year and a half is being paid because she wants LA. 18 months for check B. She's getting 18 months of her utilities, all her utilities. And she's getting 18 months for something else. I couldn't keep track of it. I didn't keep notes of her on my table. I thought she kept notes. And she actually forgot that she had applied because she applied for so many checks on this channel. That's what you do. It's sort of like you're putting out, uh, you're, you're throwing things up and you're just applying everywhere and you wait for things to land. And she had forgotten she had applied and she had that incredible warming announcement yesterday, July 19th. She got the email yesterday saying she was approved for 18 months. Past due, future items, a lot of different things across the board. Let's go to the next table of, of the, the next table of the worksheets. The next page is the benefits. Those benefits are going up a lot, and we saw that early in this recording. And what's important to note is to keep track of how much they could potentially go up. Next, a gasoline. Gasoline, I'm going to go to in one second. I'll come back to that. And then finally, student loan debt forgiveness. One viewer had a, another private message to me overnight. She said, the $10,000 of student loan debt forgiveness you're reporting that you think that's going to happen for people who make $150,000, does it have a due date? 
that they have to do it by October. No, there is no deadline that they have to do anything. They can just roll this over, roll this over. Most people think they're not going to roll it over any longer. But no, there is no inherent due deadline. All right, let's turn back to gasoline because gasoline affects inflation. Your transportation secretary was on broadcast news today, and Peter Buchetich, and he appeared on broadcast news to talk about gasoline. And I have some commentary and I also have some analysis on what he said. He was asked about the falling prices of gasoline in the United States while the prices of international Brent crude continue to track higher once again. Let me explain the backdrop before I repeat the question for you. Currently in the United States, the price of gasoline domestic unleaded AAA national average has dropped a lot. It was about four, excuse me, about five ten, right around the week after Memorial Day weekend. That was the highest we see on this channel. It was four twenty when Putin invaded Ukraine. If you remember on the newsletter, it's in the newsletter every night. Right now, it's dropped dramatically to about four fifty. So it's only thirty cents above when Putin invaded Ukraine. It's really low compared to where it's been in the last few weeks. On the international side, the international price of Brent crude, which determines the domestic gasoline prices, that has surged up a lot in the last few days. It had dropped to 99 and has surged back up to about 110. It's, it's hovering around 110. It's gone to 120. It was 110 when Putin invaded Ukraine, shot to 120 Memorial Day weekend, then down to 99 last week. It's back up to 110, so it's shot up. So that's the backdrop. What the White House has done throughout this entire engagement since Putin put 100,000 Russian troops at the, Russia, at the Ukraine border is only one thing. Release 1 million barrels of gasoline per day from the U.S. Strategic Reserves in six months. They have not bought in the 3.5 million barrels of gasoline missing for them and the Western allies that are missing because they're Putin oil. They're not in the supply chain. They've been embargoed. We've banned their oil for us and the Western allies. 3.5 million missing per day, and we've only supplied back 1.5 just for a few months. It's not indefinite. So that's the backdrop. Pete Bajutetich, uh, the, uh, the, the transportation secretary, was asked today, okay, are you ready to take a victory lap because gasoline is lower? Uh, or uh, what is your reaction? To, or, or if the gasoline is lower now and you're ready to take a victory lap, what will you do when the gasoline potentially goes back up Again, it was a great question. He said the following. No, I'm not ready to take a victory lap just yet because we're not sure we're out of the darkest hours. But the White House's policies have worked, he said. Okay. Uh, first, the question, and then second, the answer. The question really is a great question because this White House, here's my commentary, this White House has had a very big track record of taking credit when things are happening that are good and when things are bad trying to do a blame game so when things are good they're ready to take credit for it and when things are bad they try to blame the game there this is not the only administration that's done that every presidential administration i can remember does that they always like to take credit for things that are good and when things are bad they say they're not responsible for them but here was that question. The question was, are you taking a victory lap now? And what happens when the gasoline goes down? It was a great question, because why? Analysts believe that this is not a victory lap. Analysts believe that the reason why the price of gasoline right now is down is because there's traders. Traders are, pri are trading gasoline down because they are trying to bet against the recession. If the recession is upon us, will people buy less gasoline because they'll be driving less. They'll be unemployed and they won't have a job to drive to. It's a very complicated equation. A lot of people don't agree upon whether you drive less or you drive the same during a recession. But that's what the traders are doing. Everyone knows that there's no dispute that oil is being traded down because of speculation on the recession. So what did Buchetta just say? The reason why gasoline is down is because of the White House policies. It's absolutely untrue. It's absolutely untrue. No oil trader believes that gasoline's down because of the release of strategic reserves. Democrats on Wall Street don't believe it. Republicans on Wall Street don't believe it. So the takeaway today, and this is what's so important for you and your money, is that the White House is, t again, not delivering a policy for gasoline, even when gasoline is at a good circumstance right now. 
if gasoline goes right back to where it was before, because remember the international price of Brent crude is trading higher, there is no policy lined up for the White House to get it to a better position. There's no policy adjustment, and with no policy adjustment, what does that mean for you? Inflation tracks higher. Gasoline tracks higher than inflation tracks higher, and then what does that happen to do with you? Your benefits track higher as well. In the second half of this video, we are going to get some big checks. We're going to go over those incredible checks. Remember, if inflation tracks higher, then your benefits track higher. And those months at issue are just around the corner. It's July, August, and September. Your SSI, your SSDI, your rail bullets, and veterans benefits will all track higher, potentially $5,000. If the inflation stays high, and the inflation at this point is going to stay high because the gasoline is not getting a new policy from the White House. Supply chain disruption is upon us, but we will see what's going on on that front. Meantime, let's jump over into some stimulus checks. Those stimulus checks are in every U.S. state, and you deserve them. And we're going to go over all those incredible checks in the second half of this video. These four stimulus checks became a law by executive action from Joseph Biden back in the month of March. And they're huge, about $100,000. They are federal stimulus in every U.S. state. You qualify. Go right on this video, become a member. Become a member today to get these nearly $100,000 of four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 or less, you qualify. Married couple, $150,000 or less, you qualify. Passed in the month of March by executive action from Joseph Biden. These are federal stimulus checks. If you're on SSI, SSDI, you have children, you have don't have children, you all qualify. Get these incredible checks. How do you get them? You stay the second half. Go into this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Go into this video and get that membership signed up. Join this channel to get the newsletter. Delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That has those incredible checks in there and get that success story in your wallet as well. Just like that one viewer who got 18 months of checks. That's 18 MSC checks from this channel last night. Become a member. Go right on this video right now and become a member and get those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over all this incredible money for you and more. What you need to know with this economy and where we're going. Plus, we'll be turning back to the situation of the Build Back Better Act. Exciting details, as Joe mentioned. Once a vote this month, I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as Afternoons continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now in the big second half of Afternoons LA. If you become a member, make sure you do. Go into this video and join the channel. Become a Purple Hawk, Pearl Power, or Calcino VIP. Get those incredible checks like that viewer today, yesterday, who got 18 months of checks. I got to tell you, that's an enormous sum of money, and it's not unusual. That's what happens on this channel. Go into this video and become a member, and in the second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks.
Back in the month of March, viewers of this channel turned to me and said, Ally, can you find me a four stimulus check because the Build Back Better Act hasn't gotten done? And I did. I found these incredible checks. I wanted big checks and I wanted broad eligibility and I got it. $100,000 of checks for you. This is federal stimulus done by executive action from Joseph Biden that day. I immediately featured them in the membership newsletter as soon as I found them. A series of checks which I give a lettering system to, A, B, and C. Broad eligibility. You qualify. Single individual, 75000 less, go get it. Married couple, if you make 150000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own. If you have benefits, if you don't have the benefits. If you're on SSI, SSDI, railroad benefits. If you have children, if you don't have children, go get these incredible checks. They're still law. There's a lot of checks, a lot of them. There are about 20 plus checks, depending on whether you have a lot of utility bills or not. And there's a lot of money. We can go over all these incredible checks starting right now. First, let's go to check A. It's a $6,500 to $12,000 for a similar check in every U.S. state. Purple Hawks have been bouncing on this check for a very long time. And these incredible checks are just so straightforward. $6,500 to $12,000 for a stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you are on benefits, go get it. How do you get it? Go under this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP members. Sign up and join this channel right now. Join the hundreds that join this channel daily. You deserve these checks. The biggest payout you're ever going to see in the history of this government for 2022, you get these big checks right now. Number two, you go right on the video, right under the um, down on the newsletter. When you get it, to find check A, and there it is. Click the link; it sends you right into the nationwide website. Choose your state, choose the weatherizing grant, and you pounce. Sixty five hundred dollars to twelve thousand dollars. You're not going to stop there yet. You're going to go get check B. Check B is a fifteen to eighty thousand dollars for a similar check in every U.S. state. It's called the homeowners grant, and boys a lot. How do you get it? You know the routine. Number one, subscribe. First, subscribe to this channel. Don't ever forget that one. Then go into this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Pearl Barracow, Sino VIP. Become a member and get that incredible membership newsletter for members Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Go right down to you find Check B. And there it is. Click the link. It'll send you right into the nationwide website. Choose a state and get these incredible sums of money. Look at what we've done. That is $100,000 right there. $12,000. $80,000. We're not done there yet. We're going to go beyond $100,000. You're ready? Here we go. Check C, where viewers are averaging $45,000. A lot have gotten nearly $200,000, but at least it's a $2,000 a month over 12 month average MSC. This is third stimulus. It is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. How do you get it? Go under this video, become a member. Join the channel. Subscribe to this channel. Then get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday and go down to you find Check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Get that incredible Check C. And that Check C shows you the significance of being part of the Purple Power family. The Purple Power family has cleaned up since its channel launched on April 20th, 2020. Viewers have gotten $50 million because of my recordings. Why? Because I know what I'm doing. Why? Because I know where this economy is going. Why? Because I hunt and I do the research for you and you do the legwork and you get those incredible checks. Let's look at the success stories that viewers have gotten as members of the Purple Power community, proud members since 2020. Let's look at these numbers. These are 2021-like numbers. Nisi all the way up to Elizabeth. It's just a sampling. We've had a lot more success stories. If you've had a success story, post in the live chat because you inspire other people. From Nisi at 20000 to Elizabeth at 27000 lows. Look at those incredible numbers for rent. Go get them from Check C. Let's look at these incredible numbers for utilities. Angela all the way up to Nancy. Huge numbers for utilities. Mark's brother-in-law is getting 15000 Snap, his same brother-in-law is getting quarter million dollars over 10 years. Combinations. Look at these. Nisi from 23000 all the way up to Nancy. Nisi went from twenty three to 50000 Mark went from... 32 to 166,000. How did he do it? He went from 32 to 50, from 50 to 100, to from 100 to 166 because he got check B. Lorraine, she went from 105 to 150. 
what is the common denominator with all these wonderful viewers like Margaret and Johnny and Lorraine and Nisi? One, they watch all the videos. They need to know where this economy is and where it's going. Two things you need to track in every day. Inflation, recession. Inflation, because it gives you guidance on what happens with your benefits. Recession, because it gives you guidance on stimulus. It gives you guidance on when the stimulus stampede is coming, when that financial cliff is coming. It gives you guidance on the value of your dollar. It prepares you for understanding how to prepare for things, for knowing whether it's a quick recession, a mild recession. You're going to watch all the videos. Things are changing on an hourly basis. This is LA, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, heading to number two. You need to watch the videos to make yourself better, to make your family better, and make your community better. Number two, they keep on getting money. They get $500 here, $800 there, $1,000, $5,000. It adds up every day, making the effort. Check C has about 20 plus checks approximately in the newsletter. It tells you all the nonprofits to reach out to, all the cities and counties and states to reach out to. It's a lot of different checks. And there's always additional rounds. Let's say you got three months. Let's say she got four months. Let's use the viewer we went early in the video with. She got 18 months from check B. Let's say, for example... It, of that check B, she didn't get the water bill paid for, for example. She needs to not stop and be happy. <laughs> I know it's hard to say. She needs to not be happy with just 18 months. She needs to go get the water bill paid as well. That's what you do. You never settle for less. You keep on getting sums of money. Let's recap. Step one, subscribe. Step two, go into this video and become a member. Step three, go to the front of this channel and hit that bell to make sure all notifications are do all on. Those three things, subscribe, become a member, join this channel under the video, and get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, because you deserve this money across the board. What's important to know when you're looking at all this is the following, that the newsletter is so straightforward. The LA newsletter is delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Know your time zone. If it's East Coast, it's 10 o'clock via the YouTube alerts. What is the YouTube alert? This is alert. Often sent by email, that's how it's sent to you. You go down the alert to you find the bottom of the alert, past the guy with the surfboard, past that, and it says click and view post. You click the link and it sends you right into the Allied newsletter. So simple. Everyone is doing it. You can do it as well. Want to recap that with me? Let's recap it. That's what the newsletter looks like right there. Let's start with the very, very first step. After you become a member, look for that LA newsletter. It's 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So if you're not on the West Coast, know the time difference. 10 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock Central. Next, watch for the YouTube alert. That's YouTube alert, not LA late alert, YouTube alert. This is what it looks like. It's from YouTube. See, it says from YouTube. And it says from members only, new LA posts. That's the title. The first line of the alert says the LA newsletter today. Go down the newsletter, excuse me, go down the alert, pass the guy at the surfboard to see view post, click the button, and it sends you right into the LA newsletter. Oh, do not wait. Get those incredible checks. Pounce and go right into the incredible newsletter and get those incredible checks. You deserve them. And if you're not a member, do it right now. That's the membership newsletter. Become a member right now. Go on to the video and join the channel. Get the newsletter. Get the worksheets. Get the money. Become part of the best community there is. And be part of the news channel that's changing the face of broadcasting. L8, which had launched in April of 2020, excuse me, March of 2020, as this one channel, is expanding to three channels. In the next 14 days, get ready for LA2 and LA3. On LA2, you're going to have stimulus 24-7 with a live broadcast 24-7 about your stimulus. Also, you're going to have a lot of humor. All your favorite cast of characters are back. Sirloin, Javita Late, and Blaine 66. On LA3, you're going to have a lot of deliciousness with cooking shows and 24-7 Wall Street market economic stimulus and economy analysis. We have everything you need to know about where this economy is. It's very important. You need to know where the economy is, where it's going. Inflation, recession, Wall Street, and all your delicious cooking. Lots of delicious coming to that channel as well. 
Meantime, if you did not see it, two new things that happen overnight. That's why you got to be part of this channel. It's changing very quickly. Overnight, Alight Live expanded to 24 hours of live coverage. Alight Live, which normally would start at 5.45 p.m., is now a 24-7 show. So jump in that live stream between tape broadcasts and see the latest breaking news about your money, about this economy, 24-7 live. It's the latest breaking news updated throughout the day, that stream. And the second thing you may have missed overnight is the relaunch of LALate.com. Yes, the website that started it all nearly two decades ago is being rebranded with lots of coverage about the financial markets just like you want. Your money, this economy, inflation, recession, stimulus, and everything else you need to know. It's at LALite.com. If you follow this account, if you follow LALite on social media, you'll see some of the tweets coming in and also the Facebook posts. We're going to be watching later today more about the reaction to that housing data. That housing data was not particularly good the third consecutive days of faltering housing data. We'll be looking at the latest corporate earnings reports that are coming in. Why is this so important? Because this existing home sales gives us indication of the inflation and recession. But we're going to look at the latest earnings recession. Those earnings recession are going to see that impact of growing inflationary pressures. Plus, we'll see if weather inflation is easing in any front. That's all coming up tonight. Not evenings, all right. But first, become a member. Go on this video and subscribe. And then join the channel. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. You deserve all this money. You deserve to be part of the best community there is out there. Become part of the Purple Power community. From my home to yours, enjoy it. See you throughout the day as Ally continues.